Gusto niyo bang sumama sa akin? Libutin ang buong mundo. Hindi nyo kailangan ng passport, hindi nyo kailangan ng visa. Maging ready lang sila karan. Chikahan. Kainan. At picturan. Kailangan nyo lang TV or social media. At tutok lang dito sa Biyayin Nyo. Ano? Sama ka sa biyay ko? Ang bansang United Kingdom at lalo-lalo na ang capital nito na London ay sikat sa kanilang mga labyrinth. Pero hindi kailangan lumipad pa Europa para lang makakita nito. Dito mismo sa Toledo, Cebu, maaaring yung puntahan ng isang labyrinth. Trivia muna, Bieros. Alam nyo ba ang kaibahan ng labyrinth sa maze? Bagamat magkatulad ang tsura nito, may iba't ibang daang papasok at palabas ng isang maze. Meron din itong mga dead end. Samatala, isa lang ang daan papasok at palabas ng labyrinth. Now you know, Bieros. Ang mga labyrinth ay karaniwang nilalakad para makapag-relax o makapag-muni-muni. Ang labyrinth dito sa Toledo, Cebu ay para raw sa mga mahilig magrosaryo dahil sakto ang haba nito para makatapos ng pagrorosaryo. Sa tabi ng labyrinth nito makikita naman ang Kapilya Santa Ana. Sa loob ng kapilya, makikita ang iba't ibang antigong imahe ng mga santo na personal collection ng Pamilya Overs. Isa raw sa pinakamatandang imahe rito ay ang krus sa gitna ng altar na halos 400 years old na at mula pa sa Italia. Ang pulpitong ito ay mula pa sa England. isang museo na rin ang turing sa kapilyang ito dahil sa koleksyon ng mga santo na narito. Mula London, lipad naman tayo patungo sa Belgium. Ang Belgian Botanical Garden ito ay makikita sa Busay, Cebu. Tinayon ni Mr. Yuri Barameda ang dalawang ektarya ng garden ito para sa kanyang tatlong anak. Um, to show the world how much he loves his children through this garden. Oh, through the garden. Yeah. Oh. We have three cabanas there. Each cabana has a meaning. Um, the first cabana, yun yung ano for the eldest. Her favorite color is green. Then the second child si Chaska, pink yung favorite color niya. That's why it's colored pink. And the uh, youngest si Moses is blue. Um, we have 127 kinds of um, flowers here in Terrazas de Flores, mm -hmm. and it is um, originally designed and conceptualized by the owner himself. We have 56 terraces here, flower terraces, and it took for him eight years to finish this. Also here, you can, as you can see, sa mga ano, may mga 
uniforms and coats because mm -hmm. the owner is hopeless romantic. Kaya ah, ganun. Okay. And he wants the place talaga to ano um, for people but to express their love to someone. So instead of giving someone a bouquet of flowers, why not give them the whole garden instead, di ba? Wow. That's Ta why. Yeah. So, <laughs> so romantic. Dahil dito, nagpa siya ang may-ari na buksan na ito sa publiko para mapakita rin sa ating mga minamahal ang handi na ito. Sa gitna ng hagdang-hagdang halaman na ito, makikita ang kanilang cafe. Yun, so nakalibot na tayo dito sa uh, Botanical Garden ng Teresas de Flores and I think their main center is this cafe which serves all-day breakfast, cut your top silogs, uh, mga a la carte, mga rice meals. Uh, mayroon din silang uh, different selections of pizza. At syempre, hindi mga wala. Kapag coffee shop, kape. It's just, everything is just really, you know, picture perfect. Ang dahil mong pwedeng, it's, of course, Instagram worthy, but yung mga special occasions like prenuptial or even wedding, actual wedding photos panalo dito and uh, because we are situated on top of of a hill the weather is nice sarap ng simoy ng hangin everything you see is green and uh, which means masarap kumain hmm. cool but yeah And that wonderful lunch, how about a cup of coffee? Higop sabay tanaw sa magandang garden view. Perfect. Pag-ibig din ang nagtulak sa isang Cebuano para itayo ang kakaibang Park Com Cafe na ito na tila na sa Bayside naman ng Hong Kong. Ang Tintao San Roses Cafe is like a um, romantic coffee shop. Pwede dito sa mga lovers, pwede sa lahat. Yung may-ari is gusto talagang ano, gumawa ng park dito sa Cebu. Kasi dati daw, marami daw siyang nakikita ng ano, mga lovers na sa ano lang, sa tabi lang ng kalsada nagdi-date. So parang naisipan niya is gagawa ako ng park. So para magawang romantic, ginawa niya ang ano, white roses. Magandang spot din daw ang cafe nito tuwing sunset dahil sa tanawin. Yung mga in between 4 to 6 p.m., maganda talaga dito. Tapos yung ano, city, makikita mo parang mini Hong Kong. At kapag madilim na, ito naman ang susurpresa sa bisita, mga Biero. Yung ano natin, yung flowers natin na kulay puti, tintawsan niyan lahat. Tayo, tapos meron tayong mga cherry blossom dito. Talagang mapapakanta ka ng I want to lay you down in a bed of roses. Sa iyong sinisinta kapag nandito. Di kaya ko nata? Idaan na lang sa pagkain ng iyong pagmamahal dahil hindi lang kape ang meron dito. Mayroon din silang snacks, pasta, pizza, at sandwiches dito. Sakto mga pagkain para sa isang simpleng romantic dinner. May jet lag na ba kayo? Eh di local tourist spots muna tayo with some of Cebu's ancestral houses. Then we're off to Paris to wine and dine. Lahat yan sa pabalik ng Biyahe ni Drew. Ano, sama ka sa biyahe ko? Pagkating sa Cebu, via plane, mahigit isang oras lang ang biyahe mula Manila. At pagkalapag sa Cebu, pwedeng-pwede nang mag-ikot sa Cebu City. Konting time travel muna tayo, Bijeros, sa pagpasyal natin sa ilan sa kilalang ancestral houses ng Cebu. Isa na riyan, ang Casa Gorordo Museum. Yung bahay uh, that was built during the 1850s by Don Alejandro Reynes. The Gorordo family lived there since the 1860s, so yung 1863 until the late 1970s. 
the lower floor, you can see a 3D map, uh, you can see yung mga dioramas, at saka yung mga ibang exhibit. And we also have a mini theater wherein guests can have an in-depth look as to how this house was constructed. May video documentary po kami dyan. Isa pang nakakatuwa sa museum na to ay ang koleksyon nila ng mga miniature furniture na exact replica raw ng mga gamit sa mismong bahay na to. Ang cute! On the upper floor, you can already see the house as it was arranged uh, back in the day. Maliban sa mga muebles, makikita rin ang ilang mga personal na gamit ng dating mayari sa kanigan nilang mga kwarto. Uh, we also have this artifact in the museum, we call it the Geisha Cup. You place it against the light, makita ngayon merong uh, face inside a cup. That's actually a picture of a Japanese lady. Pero if tingnan mo away from the light, you can actually see that it's just hand carved. So it's just the shadows playing the trick. We have the chapel or yung kapilya. It's actually one of the main highlights of the house. Kasi this house is actually one of the rare Philippine houses that has a private chapel inside. Kasi yung nagpitera rito back then was the first Filipino bishop of Cebu, na si Bishop Juan Bautista Gorodo. Kalayuan mula sa Casa Gorwardo, makikita ang bahay ng isang negosyanteng Chino na itinio ng 17th century. So now considered as uh, one of the oldest houses in the Philippines and then possibly po um, oldest Chinese home which is outside from China. And this was also included in a book of Chinese houses of Southeast Asia. Lahat pala ng gamit dito is ano po, authentic sa original. So yung may mga gamit dito is collection to mula ano po, late 16th century until 1940. Dahil luma na nga ang bahay lalo na ang sahig, kailangan proteksyon na nito ng gusto mula sa mga dumi at kaskas. Colonial Spanish houses turned restos naman ang matatagpuan sa loob ng compound ng circa 1900. The name of the restaurant was actually derived from asking the owners of the house when the house was built. Casa Uno offers international cuisines with a twist of Filipino flavors by using local ingredients. Ang pangkarniwang black ink pasta ay may kakaibang itsura. Nag-level up din ang presentation ng bring he ng Pampanga. Bagamat pareho lang ang mga sangkap na ginamit sa mga putahe ito, mas nakakaingganyo nga naman ang kakaibang plating ng mga putahe. Panalo! Para sa mga pamilya at malalaking grupo, meron din silang combo meal na tiyak bubusog sa inyo. Sulit to! Hindi luma, pero dahil Roman Greek inspired ang disenyo, tila lumipad ka na rin sa Greece pag pumunta ka dito sa Temple of Leia sa Busay, Cebu. Apparently, ginawa ito ng isang lalaking asawa para sa kanyang namatay na babaeng asawa uh, from cancer. I guess it's, uh, it's valid to point out that uh, ginawa ito ng grandparents ni Elena Darna. At dahil dyan, binansagan na nitong Taj Mahal of Cebu. You have brass angels around. You have like two gold lions sitting there sa may entrance. Uh, I think there's also a library, a gallery, na hindi pa masyadong accessible at this time. Uh, it's currently being ano pa rin, constructed. Uh, hindi pa tapos. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> hindi man pwedeng pasukin, maaari namang silipin sa mga bintana ng kwarto ang mga koleksyon ng pamilya ng mga rebulto. Mga banga at iba pang gamit mula sa iba't ibang badza. Sa gitna ng templo, makikita ang 9-foot bronze statue ni Lea nung kinaranahan siya bilang reyna ng University of Southern Philippines. Pang Miss Universe pala ang beauty ni Ma'am Lea. It's 
such a huge place and it's situated on top of a hill. I guess people just come here and just take pictures. Um, besides having a good view of Metropolitan Cebu, uh, it's lugar na to. If you have money, I'll do it to my husband. Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom. <laughs> From Greece to Paris. Do you think it's a place in Cebu? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome <laughs> to La Pie Parisienne. Wow, it, it looks really nice. You know, I, was, I was, came from outside and I didn't know that this will look like this. Isang deli, restaurant, at wine cellar rolled into one ang La Vie Parisienne. So as you see here already, uh, we offer pastries, mm -hmm. French pastries. Freshly baked? Freshly here? baked, yeah, imported from France. Okay. Um, cheeses, cold cuts, um, some uh, condiments that we uh, sell as well. We have some chocolates here, um, mm -hmm. truffles, macarons. Very macarons, popular in, yeah, very popular. Uh, in France. We have our, our wines, actually these are our best sellers. We have uh, Champolino is the name, mm -hmm. sweet, people like really sweet wines, fruity flavors. Um, I have also, of course, some, some drier wines, red wines. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm very fond of our beers, actually, I have to say. We brew our own beers here oh, in Cebu. Nice. The better wines, all straight imported from France, we have over here. Uh, where we have actually a wide variety of different uh, different. I, I like how it's 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 constructed. Uh, it's really nice. It's cozy. Also, people cozy. can sit here if you're looking for wine. This is the place this is to the be. Place in to be. Yeah. This is the big wine cellar. <laughs> looks very uh, classy. It's uh, very very yeah, classy. Yeah. Looks very classy. Very nice. Wow. So. Uh, um, so people can sit anywhere? Is it they like... can sit anywhere, no yeah. need to reserve, but of course people, if you call Lavi, uh, you can also reserve for a table. Have a okay, sit, have yeah. a sit, okay, have a look okay. at what we have. This is for me, my favorites as well, okay. and actually quite French also. Right. Of course, French like their cheeses, mm -hmm. so I put here a cheese platter right. um, with five types of cheeses. Um, then we have here a French French snail, so French imported snail, they call Escargot de Bourgogne. Escargot. Meron silang iba't ibang hinahain na putay sa kanilang mga bisita, pero ang pinakabida dito ay ang... And then over here, of course, uh, the very famous croissant. And, and the little ones is uh, the pan au chocolat, so which is actually also puff pastry with a little cream, uh, chocolate cream inside. Nice. I'll bring you a, a okay. bottle of uh, sparkling wine. Uh, oh, okay. It's not tahong, for sure. Um, the usual, when we eat it, it's like the texture of it. It's like a little bit chewy. But this one, because they, uh, they put some uh, butter and different types of herbs, so it's, it's really very tasty and it's really good. It's a big pressure on them because, man, but when you're uh, a French, thank you. When you're a French bakery, it has to be really good. No pressure. Oh man, this is nice. Texture, pa lang eh. Oh, oh. It's good. Lina, hashtag na. Mm. Mm. See, I, I can miss all the dishes here, but not the croissant. The croissant is a... Uh, mm. 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 I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm going to do it. I'm not the wine and cheese type of guy. I am the type of... Uh, uh, 
salpicao and beer type of guy, but hey, we're here anyway. This is Mimole. Mimolet? Mimole. Mimolet. So far, hindi masyadong strong yung two cheeses in the high gulp. But this one is Frutti di Jura. Frutti di Jura. Hindi ba pwedeng cheddar cheese? Hindi ba pwedeng... Sorry. Uy! Oh, hey, last one. <laughs> no, no, no. It, does, it, it tastes actually good. It, it's just that, you know, sometimes if you're not really very familiar with different types of cheeses, when you see blue cheese, when it's, you think it's, it's, uh, it's frothing. <laughs> but yeah, this type of cheese, it's definitely stronger than these three. That's more like it. Mm. Where's my bear? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mm. 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 It's chewy, salty. Good amount of fat. At para mas masarap ang kainyo, subukan na rin ang kanilang wine. Pag medyo nagtagal, nakakalimutan mo na kung nasaan ka nga ba, hindi lang dahil sa mga pagkain na kakain sa harap mo, kundi dahil na rin sa setup ng lugar. A complete French experience dito sa Cebu. Bon appetit! Ay, lami good kayo! <laughs> Gusto mo ng pinakamabilis na paraan para mag-travel around the world? Pues, sugod na rito sa food market ato. We're here Thursdays to Sundays, 5 p.m. to 1 in the morning. Local muna tayo. Dahil nasa Lechon, capital tayo ng Pinas, syempre hindi mawawala ito. Of course, uh, you can't be a Cebu food market if you don't have Lechon. And of Lechon of is of from one of the Lechon capitals here in Cebu City, which is uh, Talisay City, my hometown. Uh, Now we go abroad. We have, I think we have five Japanese vendors, uh -huh. each selling their specialties. These guys do makis. Right. Delikayama is also doing takoyaki. Mukumaki, they're one of our original vendors since day one. Uh -huh. Very simple concepts, but, but work. Right. They're highly specialized. They're a uh, single item. Um, Japanese rice wrapped in bacon with assorted, assorted uh, sauces. Nice. And they're one of our best sellers as well. Lots of Japanese stalls, huh? Um, yeah, and they're or real this Japanese is... owners. Ah, real Japanese owners real as Japanese well. Owners. Wow. And uh, a lot of them actually fly in and out of Japan and bring their ingredients from Japan. So. Uh, Ikusha Ramen. It's one of the best ramen houses in Cebu. Yes. And they're serving, of course, their ramen at lower prices. So modified serving sizes, yeah, yeah. lower, more affordable prices. And then, of course, there's special broth, no? Yes, yes. That's the key. A banana pancake trail, Southeast Asian street food. Owner, JD here is a backpacker. They backpack all across Asia. Nice. Along the banana pancake trail, uh, the common food there is something like a banana pancake. Mm -hmm. FYI mga biyero, ang Banana Pancake Trail ay isang ruta na sinusundan ng mga backpacker na bumibisita sa mga bansa sa Asia. Kariniwan kasi na may mga banana pancake na tinitinda sa mga kali ng mga bansang ito. Thus, the name. This is a very new, um, they just came in today, chimney cakes. So chimney cakes or turdelniks, it's a European grilled bread. Grilled bread and yes. ice cream. I mean, right. And then you put and ice cream, cream on top. Yes. So perfect hot and cold combination. Wow, wow. okay. Interesting. Reach it! Sa dami ng aming pinuntahan, parang busog na ako. Pero mukhang hindi ako paalisin ni Carlo nang walang tinitikman ah. So you have their Hagen Bowls uh, butt rub, which is a combination of the... The beef pulled pork brisket. and the beef brisket. Okay. You serve with a house law and a deep fried mac and cheese ball. Kako patay. That's the, the uh, pad thai. Pad thai. That's a special pad thai. It's uh, wrapped in an egg crepe. Mm -hmm. I think I should 
taste this first. Yes. Right? Good. I think this is this is tastier. I mean, right, exactly. has a stronger taste. But uh, so they do their own sauces as well. So everything's uh, homemade. Wow. Nice. Mm hmm Hey, now, over the top of the Why not? How much is this? Uh, 150. 125. 125? 125. 125. Pretty good, bro. Nice presentation as well. It would be nicer if it had uh, the fried insects on top. I and mean, then they did right. a version of that one before. Nice. And that was a little bit too exotic for a lot of people. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're nice. This is, uh, this is deadly. Mm. Wow. Super good. Smoky, good amount of fat in it. It's tender. Wow. So really, you don't need a knife. Oh, no. It's so tender, that's the beef. That's the beef brisket. Concentrated, choice, concentrated plate flavor. Good choice. Well, you hit two birds with one stone with this one. Kain ka na ng masasarap na pagkain na kalibot ka pa sa iba't ibang parte ng mundo. Yummy! Stop na ang paglilibot around the world. Cebuano food naman ang aming ipakikita sa inyo. Sana may space pa ang mga tiyan nyo. Ano? Sama ka sa biyay ko? Para sa mga gustong mag-nature trip near Cebu City, perfect ang Kabang Falls para sa inyo. After 30 minutes sa biyahe at mga 20 minutes sa trek, mararating nyo na ang mga talo na to. Tinatawag ito na Horsetail Waterfall dahil umaagos ang malaking parte ng tubig nito sa bato. Ang ay nagmumula sa makitid na agos at umalapat pa baba tulad ng... Tama! Buntot ng kabayo! Sa baba, may malaking pool kung saan naiipon ang tubig. Ito ang quick getaway daw ito ng mountaineers ng probinsya dahil sa malapit ito sa syudad. Mayong pag-abot sa isla Sugbo Seafood City. Ito rin ang kaunaw na ang seafood restaurant dito sa Cebu na nag-offer ng paluto. something unique here in Cebu. You can pick whatever you want based on our display. Yan, yeah, mamimili ang mga customer ng mga gusto nilang ipaluto. Yung fresh seafood, yung iba, buhay pa! May beef, pork, ka chicken din ng mga gulay. Ang mga napili ay dadalhin sa kanilang kusina para iluto o ihanda according to your request. Maaring kinilaw, inihaw, simply seasoned o may sabaw. Gusto niyo bang gawin itong Japanese, Filipino, Chinese, o American dish? Walang problema dahil kayang-kaya nila. No wonder gustong-gusto ang restaurant na to, hindi lang ng mga Cebuano, kundi pati mga dayuhan.
Meron kong authentic Cebuano food ang hanap nyo. Malamang dito kayo ituro ng mga lokal. You specialize on uh, food, comfort uh, Filipino food? Yes. Uh, Filipino Filipino seafood. Kasi, uh, pangalala lang is STK. STK. What does that mean? for subba or grill. Grill? Yes. Yeah. Tua or the tinola. Tinola? Then the kinilaw. Yes. Then the kinilaw. Yes. Wow. So we have that here. Subba, the panga. That's uh -huh. your best seller here. Okay. Then the tinola. The uh -huh. tinapulapu tinola. And the kinilaw. The kinilaw. Yes. So where do we start? Oh, well, maybe you could start with the appetizer. Okay. We have the baked scallops. This is one of our uh, must-haves here. So. I will just get one. Please eat also. <laughs> so you guys are sisters? Yes, they are. This is a family business? Yes, it is. Ah. It started out like very small. Mm. That's why it was... Is the key? Is the key? No. Ah. <laughs> five tables. Five tables. Five and have a storage ah. yeah. in the garage. So bahay namin. Who started it? Our dad. Wow. Okay. Siya talaga. Siya talaga. Siya talaga yung mahilig magluto. All of these recipes are here. Oh, yeah. Tada! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Does your dad have uh, a professional culinary background? No. Oh. Yeah. Even more it's interesting. Yeah. We really grew up, and, you know, he's a one cook. Mula sa limang mesa, lumago ang kanilang negosyo at halos buong bahay nila ay naging parte na nga ng restaurant. At ang limang ulam, naging halos 50 putahin na. The, there's this aftertaste. Very smoky yeah. aftertaste. Oh, yeah. um, this is our hot and spicy calamares. Yes. So we were featured in a Lonely Planet for this. We got oh. the top choice for the our hot and hot spicy, and spicy calamares. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's good though. It's good though. I mean, after a few seconds, that's when it hits you. Mm. It's like, oh, wait, man, because they're not going to measure it. Mm -hmm. Now, time for some tua o tinola. Yes, very nice. Sometimes, iba parang you feel like clear soup more than you know other like oh heavy cream or, or tomato based soup. And then lalo na when it, when the clear soup is, is mixed with with fish, which is very light as well. Uy, meron tong character. Na. It's not very heavy too. Um, this is seafood, no? Yes, it is. You have tahong, you have squid, you have Shell, shrimp. shrimp, squid. We also have the fish version. This is a Thai mix seafood, mm -hmm. and then there's a Thai soup, which has a fish like this. All right. Next. This one is, uh, we call it suglao. Suglao, yes. Yeah. This is half kinilaw na fish, half pork that is grilled. Mm -hmm. So, sugba and kinilaw. Mm. See, the reason why I love chinuglao or kinilaw, it's so refreshing in the mouth. Yeah. Really. And you know it's healthier <laughs> than other dishes. Uh, mm. That's your per uh, That's your best seller. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Aso, no? <laughs> It's a tuna. Ah, Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep. It may look like, you know, less meat. Mm -hmm. But actually, if you dig in yeah, deeper... Usually, nga with the panga, you eh, know, parang it's this. Yeah. Siguro, parang this is like just a bone. Mm -hmm. pala, when exactly. you just keep on digging, no? Yeah. What is that? It's uh, we call it bakasi. Is it food? It's an eel, yes. <laughs> Looks like snake. Mm -hmm. It's like sea snake. Sea snake. Mm -hmm. 
Is it bony? Do I eat everything? Eat everything. It's mm. Well, tastes like anything deep fried. Na parang course wala na siyang lansa, wala na ano. It's just really crunchy, like really good texture. Hindi nga naman nakakagulat na sumikat ang restaurant na to dahil panalo ang mga pagkain. Sugba, tuwa o kinilaw man yan. Ganahan man gyud ako kayo! Gising na ako, ready. Rolling. <laughs> okay, ito yung kwarta natin dito sa Quest Hotel sa Cebu. Pagpasok mo, living room. May powder room din for guests. Free coffee. Free uh, mineral water. Of course, you have your ref over here. Flat screen TV. View of Metro Cebu. Pasok tayo sa bedroom. Minerkahan ko na itong kama na ito. Uh, bathroom, pasok lang. Bathtub. Throne, the game of throne. Shower. Spacious, clean, comfy. What's your nice one? Cool, clean, and comfy. Ah. Maliban sa suite, meron din silang deluxe room na may twin beds. And your very own balcony. May swimming pool din at maaring magpamasay by the pool. Pwede! When it comes to food, their restaurant offers buffet and a la carte dishes. So, um, papalit-palit yung kanilang mga uh, specialty of the night or cuisine for that particular night. Tonight is Spanish night. So, they have uh, sa center ang um, Spanish food. But I think they will always have their pasta section here. Ito, their grilled section. You can grill your chorizo, your tuna, your different types of meat. Ito, Filipino section kasi meron kang uh, pork kumba, pochero, at meron pa rin silang Japanese section doon. Pero alam mo ko, feeling ko, tactics ko talaga, dumidiretso na ako talaga sa, sa highlight. Okay, thanks. On roll. Ano po bang sauce yan? Kulay, gulay. Kulay, gulay. Yan, makulay na. Huling ginula tayo ng isa sa paborito nating probinsya sa bansa, ang Cebu. Nakatuto ang matuklasan ng bagong tourist spots na kasing ganda ng mga sikat at tanawin sa ibang bansa. Yet, still very Cebuano. Indeed, the sights, the sounds, and the flavors of Cebu are really at par with the rest of the world. Drinks ang sineserve nila. Ang lamig-lamig na nga dito eh. Hindi na pwedeng kape. Ready na ako lumaban. I can't wait. Sama kayo sa biyay ko?